So let's say you've got an object inside Unreal Engine and it has no collision. I did a video a while back on how you can add custom collision in Blender. I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but let's say you didn't want to use Blender and you wanted to do it just natively inside Unreal. You can do that as well. So open up your static mesh and under the show tab, go show and just make sure you have simple collision turned on. You can see this has no collision, but we can go ahead and add it. So you can go collision, add box, and then you can just drag these collision boxes around using the transform tools up here. And in that way, if you wanted to manually add collision, uh, you can do that. And if you alt click and drag, oops, you can just manipulate these the same way that you would uh, normal static meshes inside of the editor. So we can rotate this and scale it up. And there we go, and let's save this. Now in our world, under the uh, view mode tab, if you go, sorry, under the show tab, if you go, you can also use uh, the hotkey Alt-C to show collision. So Alt-C, you can see that this object now has collision and should work properly. And there you go, you can see that no problem with the object, collision on this is, is working fine. Now I've had some people say, why don't you just use complex collision as simple? And there are a couple reasons why this is a bad idea. Uh, the engine does let you do it. Uh, however, you, you probably don't want to do it if you have like a hugely complicated mesh with t like thousands of verts in it, because it's going to use the whole uh, geometry of the mesh uh, as the collision mesh. And you, you probably don't want that. And I, I've also had some people say, well, then for meshes where you don't have a ton of verts, you can do it right and it'll be fine. And that really depends on your, that really depends on your use case. So one of the things that I will point out that is mentioned in the documentation, which you should read, uh, is that if you're using complex collision as simple, you cannot simulate the object. So for something like this chair, if I wanted this object to be physics simulated, so you could like knock it over and push it around, uh, you can't do that with the uh, use complex as simple enabled. So there are some use cases where you could change the collision complexity to use complex as simple, but you really have to know what you're using the object for. So on our chair, static mesh under show, just making sure that simple collision is turned on. Just gonna delete these that we created. And there is another way that you can that you can do this, and that is to auto generate uh, a convex hull. So if you go under collision, auto convex collision, it'll bring up this convex decomposition. And if you hit apply, it's going to auto generate a collision mesh for this object. So let's do that. And you can see it does an okay job. Um, we've got some areas here where it like it doesn't doesn't quite look doesn't quite look perfect, right? And if you wanted if you wanted it to do a better job, you can turn up the hull count and the max hull verts and also this hull precision. And it'll take more time to generate the uh, more time to generate the collision mesh, which is sort of the trade off here, but it will give you a sort of cleaner result. And so now you can see here, we've got a collision mesh that is you know sort of more accurate to the object. So I'll leave a link in the description again to my Blender video if you wanted to do this inside of Blender so that you could export FBX files, including collision. Uh, however, you can do it in the engine. These are a couple of methods that you can use to do that, and it's pretty straightforward.